we're going to create um, the 25 hour free Windows Azure platform introductory special offer. So the way to do that is to open a web browser and go to this URL www.microsoft.com slash Azure. I'm doing this from home and I live in an area which is very poorly served by the internet so this may take a little while for the uh, for the screen to refresh. Um, the button I'm interested in is the sign up now button so I click that button and what you can see on this page are the various um, types of purchase you can make. There's the normal pay as you go there's Development Accelerator course, $59.95, that's dollars. Development Accelerator extended, $109.95. And SQL Azure Development Accelerator course, $74.95. These are all special rate plans. Um, but there's also the introductory special, limited amount at no charge. And the limited amount is 25 hours per month. So let's click Buy. Maximize this window. Okay, I'm asked to, la to log in. I've created a, log a special login for this, so uh, something with a different user, and it's Azure Offer at hotmail.co.uk. Let's sign in. Okay, now if you have already taken out some form of an Azure subscription or one of the BPOS subscriptions you won't have to fill this profile information out um, but if you're just if this is the first time you've done anything with Microsoft's cloud services then this is uh, your profile information so my address is um, Microsoft Microsoft Thames Valley Park, Reading, Berkshire, RG61WG, in the United Kingdom, English, and my phone number, I, I must put the UK phone number, I can't put plus four four for the UK, I just have to put the local number, 0870-6010100. I think from my previous attempts at this, you can't have any spaces in that number. Um, I won't bother with them sending me offers, and we click next. Okay, so the company name is, in my case, Microsoft. Company website is Microsoft.com. Primary activity is uh, what are we? Is it say soft computer software? And the number of employees is a thousand and one plus. Let's click next. So the service usage address. Yes, well I will be using this service from my office. Uh, I don't have a VAT ID, so now I'll finish. Okay, so it says, we will save your profile for all of your service trials and purchases on this site. To try, our, try or buy a service, click close and go to the services page. So that's what I'm saying. If you were to now sign up for something else, you'll already have a profile. Or if you'd indeed sign, previously signed up for something. Let's click close. Okay, so this is, we're now back into um, purchasing the service. Now you can see here it says the Windows Azure Platform Introductory Special. That's what needs to be there. It needs to say Introductory Special because if it just says the Windows Azure Platform Pay As You Go or one of the other ones, then you won't be getting the 25 free hours. Now we can check this by going to the rate plan and just checking that it does give us those things. The thing to remember about this is it's 25 hours per month, included each month at no charge. 25 hours of a small compute instance, 500 megs of storage, 10,000 storage transactions, 1 gig web edition, 100k access control trans uh, transactions, 2 service bus connections, that's measured, that's measured per connection, um, 500 megabytes in, 500 megabytes out. Now if you go over any of these things, 
um, then this is what you'll be charged. So you need to look at these numbers very carefully. Now these are shown in UK pounds and that's why they're such weird numbers because they're translations of what they would be in uh, US dollars and cents. Okay, let's close that down. Um, and let's just say, yep, yep, we uh, we acknowledge that they're purchasing a service and that if we go over our rate, then we're going to have to pay for it. And then click the checkout button. Okay, so we're going to use a credit card to buy this. Um, we're not going to, we, we aren't sort of uh, big enough to have a special purchasing deal and be able to use purchase order numbers. So I'll click next. Okay, so now we can put our credit card information in. So let's say that we have a Visa card. Uh, the number is uh, 1234 It expires on the 1st of 2011. The name on the card is Steve Plank. The card verification number is 123. And billing information. Line 1 is Micros. Okay, now you can see um, I have the agreement. These are the terms and the conditions of the agreement, and I need to agree to these terms and conditions. So I click that box, and then this is asked. This is almost like a signature. So I type my name into this box here. So I type Steve. Plank, Mister, and then I accept that agreement. Okay, so what we can see here is I've got the Windows Azure Platform Introductory Special Pay Per Use um, Rate Plan, and remember the Special Platform Introductory has 25 hours free per month plus those various uh, data rates and so on. Um, Okay, this is all the information that was used for the um, for the order, and now I can confirm the order. So I click confirm order. Okay, so I have um, an order confirmation number one two four seven two eight two seven four zero. Confirmation has been sent to my email address, and um, I, I may be getting email from these guys. Okay, so I can proceed to activation. Okay, so I'm going to give this a name now, and I'm going to call this um, Azure 25 hour intro offer. Click next. And it's asking me for the service administrator. So I'll say all this information and I'll say the work address is fine. Click next. And I get a summary of billing information and so on. Who the account owner is, who the service administrator is, um, what the subscription is called, and I get links to the development portals. Windows Azure, SQL Azure, and that app fabric. So I can now click Finish. And that's it. I now have a subscription. Right, the next thing to, to do is to check the subscription. So um, let's open a new tab. And we go to the portal, which is windows.azure isn't it windows.azure.com aha there we are azure 25 hour intro offer okay so you can see that the subscription looks like a project but what that means is that this has been enabled and I can actually use that time now. Okay, so happy hunting with your Windows Azure projects.